financial aid office is pretty uh, useless sometimes. <laughs> like, you know, they usually screw over the books. They don't use it for the next year. The way they organize the major. There was one class that hasn't been open for three years. <laughs> There's a course that I want, and every time I try to take it, they put it up, and then they take it down. It's like a pyramid where you can't take one class without taking the other. And it's happened three times. We need to talk to the dean. Every single year that I've been here as a CJ major, they keep changing the Welcome to Rutgers, a wonderful school located in central New Jersey. We do great as a research school, and many students have enrolled. We have produced many alumni who have made a difference in the world. All is great in the life of a Rutgers student, except that everyone is subject to the Are You Screw? Hi, I'm Wayne DeSoggio and I'm a sophomore at Rutgers University. I've also been Are You Screw, but what is the Are You Screw? Well, I think Urban Dictionary puts it the best. The Are You Screw is the tendency for Rutgers University to screw you over in some way or another due to their incompetence, be it financially, academically, or otherwise. It eventually happens to everyone that attends the university. So in my terms, I think there's two different types of Are You Screw, an official one and an accidental one. An official Are You Screw is where the rules themselves block us. So this isn't really anyone's fault, it's just that the way the Rutgers is made is getting in the way of our success. Uh, my Are You Screw occurred last semester during finals week. I had three finals within 24 hours, but they weren't on the same day, so I wasn't allowed to reschedule them. Joe's example highlights what an official Are You Screw is all about. The rules themselves actually block it. So in Joe's example, the 24 hour rule just didn't work for him because his was actually 25 hours, and it also didn't work because his were on two different days, and according to rules, they had to be on the same day. And so he was screwed over. Most Are You Screws are accidental. Somewhere there's just an error that happens to either the student or the f offices at Rutgers. And so because of it, something goes wrong, and the student is the one who gets the problem. My Are You Screw is with the financial aid office. They always seem to be missing documentation, or something's late, and it always has me late for registering for classes. I actually haven't been able to register on time for any semester other than, I guess, the first one. A um, few times, well, one time, I actually couldn't even access the Wi-Fi, and uh, that same time, I couldn't even swipe into the dining hall for a few weeks. I had to hand in this project for a class, and I handed in the wrong file, and when I talked to the professor about it, she said, just don't show up to class or do the final and just take the F and take it again in the spring. Now the actual question here is why are these are you screws happening? What causes Rutgers to cause this issue for students and for every student too? Well, I asked our participants Dylan and Adiel again after they were done and I asked them why they thought it happened to them. I think it happened because Sakai, well, I procrastinated and then Sakai took a while to load at the end when I was handing it in and when I was rushed. Uh, it's a little bit of poor communication on Rutgers end. If, you know, they're not too prominent in their emails, they're not on top of me, that uh, affects me because I don't feel as obligated to do everything. If they're not, um, you know, uh, telling me what they need exactly, then, you know, it's hard for me to get them what they need. So the reason why accidental screw-ups happen, according to Dylan and Adiel, is that Rutgers facilities just have issues with them, and the processing between everything just, like, dumps off the works and causes this to happen. Like when, like in Dylan, where his teacher couldn't fix Sakai, well, it was Sakai's fault, and that's a Rutgers facility that controls all of her classes, and it's very important. So if that's going to fail on us, that's going to be an issue, like it is for Dylan right now. And in ADL, the financial aid office was an issue for him, and he couldn't get basic necessities like meal swipes and internet access, and a Rutgers student really needs those, especially when they live on campus. And there's many other stories like this, where simple things just are messed up by facilities that Rutgers gives us, like the bus system, or perhaps even uh, classes, or how we register for classes, or anything like that.
or people have already tried to get around the Arya screw because basically the Arya screw can be avoided if you know what to expect. So a great website for avoiding this is College Confidential, which is actually just a very general website for any college, not just Rutgers. But if you search for the Arya screw, you can find threads about previous students, students or faculty who have seen the Arya screw and they talk about it and you can find your answer like that. Another great place would be Rutgers University, the subreddit for Rutgers University. Now here it's a little interesting because you don't just have the uh, focus, you need to actually search for it. So you need to search are you screw and then you'll get a whole bunch of results that will tell you about other students who have issues like you or maybe someone else that you know. So there's one about business school transferring and one about um, how Rutgers are you screw has violated many students and you can find your own answer over there. Another great place is a blog about Are You Screw called AreYouScrew.com, and it's just a blog that written by some people who go about to talk about Rutgers, and it's not only about Are You Screw, but it, it does talk about Are You Screw a bit. Like this um, post right here, How to Structure an Xbox Paper, helped me uh, pass Xbox because it helped me understand what parts of the paper I need to actually structure. So there are ways to get around the audio screw. If you find your answer online, you can avoid it. And that's the audio screw. Rockers has found so many ways to get in the path of people's success, and yet it hasn't stopped anyone. We have a lot of alumni, a lot of people that have made it through the four or so years that they had at Rockers, and they still had a really good Rockers experience. So the audio screw, even though it's detrimental to people's uh, academic life, it doesn't really stop us from getting to the success we need. It has been said that education is the foundation of all nations. Are you screwed? So there you go, I got are you screwed.